Let's move now and work on fire base world. This is our database. This is our collection. And these are the documents. Let's apply more rules to make it more secure. Let's delete this. This is allow everything. So we will make it a specific for a collection. This is our gallery collection and all our documents inside it. Will allow read to anyone. In case of adding or creating new document, we will add a condition. Let's create functions here. First function is auth. This function will retain true if the user only authenticated, not anonymous user. Another function, we will check if the user is the owner of the request. That means the request it contains his UID, not using others IDs. Request.resource.data.uid means that the request sent from the user contains the UID inside our auth and Firebase. And in case of updating and deleting, we will check that the user is the owner of the resource. The resource is the data stored in our databases already. So we will check if the ID stored in our database is the same as ID of the user inside the request. That means that he can't delete others' records or documents, only the documents that includes his ID inside our database. So in case of adding or creating, we will add two conditions. If the user is authenticated and he owns this request, that means his ID inside this request. And in case of update and delete, we will add also two conditions. The user is authenticated and he owns the record or the document inside our database. That means he is going to delete or update his own record or documents, not others' documents. Let's fix this. And let's publish. This is the UID inside the resource. Let's add also the rules on our storage. We have two subcategories. We have gallery and also we have a profile. Inside the gallery, there is ID of the user and inside it, the, the images added by this user and also inside the profile, subfolder of the ID of the user and inside it, the profile avatar or photo of this user.
let's delete this we don't want it to allow anything we will make the specific for these subcategories or subfolders or paths call it whatever you want this user id is the subfolder and inside it the images in case of read we will allow anyone to read the gallery or images of the user in case of write or delete we will check that the id of the user inside the request is the same user id in the subfolder and let's copy and paste for the profile subfolder also the rule is the same we added two paths here because the default rule is denying if there is no match here in the rule the firebase will deny access to the folder let's go and log out and try to add an image we add no condition in our front end we're just relying now on the back end of firebase and it is failed access denied permission user does not have permission to access let's log in and try when we are authenticated let's log in with google let's refresh and add image success because the user is authenticated and this is a new image here here is a different user if the user tried to delete others image look it is missing or insufficient permissions this is the response from firebase this is protected from back end not front end but when he tries to delete his own image it is success we need to work now on front end to add a condition not to allow user to add anything unless he is authenticated We will add that condition in our form in the button this is the action that triggered that dialog for adding images let's import our current user from our context and check if the user is authenticated let's import current user and sit model and on handle click function we will check if the user not authenticated we will retain and open our model of login is open is true title is login and content is our login component that means we are forcing a user to the login model to login or register let's save and check let's click without authentication now we are redirected to our model let's authenticate or login with our account google account let's now try to add 
it's opening. Now let's hide this option to delete others photos. Let's go to the image list and search for options. Let's add condition here. Let's check if we imported our current user already. Let's import it now. Let's check that the current user ID is the same inside the document of this image. Only in this case we will show the option to delete this image. Let's save and check again. Now only this option appears on users photos. You can delete here. But you can't delete others photos.